Okay, so I've got this old dehumidifier here. This is a high sense, as you can see. And the problem is the compressor won't kick on, so it won't pull moisture out of the air. So I'm going to go with an easy fix on this, hopefully, and that's going to be to swap out the capacitor with another capacitor I happen to have lying around. So first things first, let's go ahead and get the back off this thing. So we got the back panel off, and as you can see, Right here on the left hand side, that's the capacitor. It's only got one screw that holds it in. It goes through that little metal bracket strap there. We'll go ahead and get that out and get this capacitor swapped out. Once you get the metal strap off like that, this is what you end up with. You've got your capacitor with this little metal cap here and a little plastic cap underneath it. Go ahead and remove the screw from the metal cap. The metal cap comes off. You're left with this little plastic cap here. It's held on by some plastic clips. And I'll show you how to get those off. Just go ahead and take a small screwdriver, pry each one of the plastic tabs up, and then kind of keep a little bit of pressure on it so that they don't pop back in place. Work your way around. One at a time, and after you get a couple off, it should pop off pretty easily. Shouldn't have to do any more than two or three, and there you go. And you got your capacitor. Now again, be careful with these. Uh, you can shock yourself pretty bad. We're going to go ahead and pull the wires off, uh, discharge it by laying a screwdriver across the terminals, and go ahead and grab the new one out of the crate down here on the floor. So this is the other capacitor that I found in that crate. Go ahead and hook up a multimeter to it real quick just to show that it's actually working. Setting on ohms and as you can see, spiraling to infinity. So we got a good capacitor here. We'll go ahead and get this one popped in the dehumidifier and hopefully it'll work for us. In the meantime, I went ahead and cleaned everything up. There was a lot of dust in here also, that doesn't help. There you go, all cleaned up and ready to put the new capacitor or slightly used capacitor back in. Go ahead and reverse the process, hook our wires back up. Pro tip here, before you take anything like this apart that's got wiring, you've probably got a phone on you, take a picture of it real quick so you know how the wires go back on. This one's easy, very simple, red wire, white wire. and blue wire. Red, white, and blue, just like that. With all of our wiring hooked back up, time to go ahead and put all of our safety contraptions back in place. Plastic cap just pops on, real easy. And then we'll go ahead and slip our little metal cap on here, line it up right, put that little screw back in, grab our little metal strap, we're good to go. And we'll go ahead and screw this little thing back into place here. Now, I'm not trying to tell you that swapping out a capacitor is going to fix all of your dehumidifier problems. But if the problem is that the compressor won't kick on, uh, this is probably going to be your easiest, cheapest fix. If not, you might have to actually start messing with the compressor, which is way too technical for this video. Okay, well, as you can see, we got everything sealed back up, and it's just a matter of plugging this thing in and seeing if it works. That's it. She's working again. Hey, hopefully this helped you out. If it did, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. Feel free to follow us on Instagram, see what we're up to throughout the week between videos, and maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.